Hey guys. Hey guys, it's um uh Dom and James here and I made this binder. Like a Pokemon literally a Pokemon binder. And I'm today I'm gonna explain how you can make it. And yeah. So I know it doesn't look that great, but I mean it took sorry. me it took, yeah, sorry, it took me about like an hour to make it. But I mean it it's it looks really cool and I mean it's it's it, it works somehow. Like I doubted yeah. it the entire time. I was doing homework. Uh, yeah. I, I, I just watched. It works. I mean, it works. Let's see how the binder. Card's still stay in place. So here's the back. Um, I'll describe how you make it a little later. See how you have to literally tape every, you need uh, tape stuff. And I have a handle, so so everything's like uh, closed in. You see how there's like tape here. Uh, yep, and then if 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 like say that tape gets lost, you always gotta have an extra, um, uh, extra tape. And here's the inside. So I know it looks pretty flimsy, but I mean it actually kind of works. But um, you just gotta tape them down. It covers your cards, like so. If like something spills, it'll, um, it'll just hit this. Like if it's close, spill, it won't go to the cards, and it's loose after that. Too. So it holds the the sleeves, I guess. It works pretty well. Um, the cards do stay in perfect condition once they're in here. As uh, you can see, it's pretty much like a binder. It's like literally stuck. Um, just treat it pretty nicely, and it works. So all the sleeves are really just like it works pretty well. And then you just close it back. And I'll describe how to make it in a sec, but I just want to show you how, like. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy actually. Not, well, not really. It can just like pretty flimsy, but like it'll, the cards won't like break if you like you, like, you do that. I don't want to break my cards, just in case. But uh, yeah. So as you can see, if you reopen it, they're still in perfect condition, just like just how they were. They just popped up a little, not really. But all binders do that. Yeah, and you. These are the sleeves, and you see how it's still very right, stuck, sturdy, and it, it's just a really nice binder. Keep some of your like, like not your most expensive cards, just in case, but like, just like your nice reverses or rares, or some like commons, uncommons that are like playable or something. You can just stick them in here, and you don't have to like buy a real binder, and yeah. So, um. I don't know, I know this might sound out of this world, but if you guys actually want this, it'll be like five dollars because of the shipping. How uh, like the cost of the shipping. Not including on the cards want. inside. Yes, not including the cards inside. But you do get some sleeves. Um it'll be like five dollars. Five to eight dollars, depending on how much it costs to ship. And we'll just ship it to you depending on how we'll give it to you depending on how much it costs to ship. So you can tell it's like a pretty nice spider, and I'll tell you guys how to make it now. So first off, you need three paper clips. One, two, three. And you probably need something like a cardboard box, so you can like cut, cut um, stuff out, like like just a little. Like you have to cut out the part which like helps stabilize everything. See this brown part. Um. Yeah, and then you probably need about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait. Yeah, somewhere around 10, 11. So, Depending on the binder yeah. size. Yeah, and you need uh, need two of these blister packs. Two blister packs. So you can cut them all the way to a full length open. And it fits perfectly. And because there's the handle here, which can help uh, stick them down. Like, shut it like that. So, yep, that's how you make it. And then you have to tape everything, obviously, pretty well. Tape it here. Tape, uh, tape this here. And once you do that, pretty much all set. And um, you have to put your sleeves. They have to be stuck with the paper clip, obviously, so they won't fall. And yeah, so these help hold it. Like, like you just slide the cards in here. They still, I think they still fit, even if say like. Like it still will be technically okay. It gets ex this card actually gets extra protection. Um, yeah, that's how you make this thing. Um, 
Oh, I actually got stuck. Still in great condition. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can put them in, as they will still be pretty, in pretty good shape. Slide them in here, just like any old binder. That's what looks cooler. Like any old binder, all you gotta do. Ooh, that's rare. All you gotta do is just like slide these cards in. And the page is all perfect with everything. Works well. So, and then you just reclose it. And then, yep, that's how you make it. So, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, how to make this Pokemon binder video. Um, hope you guys can do it at home. Um, make a video response if you like. Um, so we can see how, you, how yours came out. So, and comment if you enjoyed it, like. Or buy this one if you're lazy. Yeah, you can buy for five dollars, depend or to eight, depending how much it costs to ship for us, and and where you live, and no international. But yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this um how to do video, and stay tuned for more videos.